welcome back to Planet of the Geeks. You join us again for another unboxing video. Today we're having a look at some more silver bayonet models. Uh, we have the French and the Prussians to have a look at. Ooh, yep. Cool. So I uh, we'll start with the French because they were part of the original three that were released. Then we'll do the Prussians. Ooh, voila. Okay. Thank you, Dr. <laughs> so uh, we're going these out of these. Mm -hmm. um, I need a, a knife. Need a knife. You got a knife? I don't, but I've got some snips. No, they. There you go. Yep. Okay. So what we should have in here, going to the back, are these. Look for my models there. So let's have a look. There's something satisfying about metal models and oh, cool sorry, I thought you were going to say double that. There's something very satisfying about double that. Oh, nice. So here we go. So we have... Claire's going to read out what they are from them. Oh, right, so that looks like the... Uh, is that a... Does it say Sapper? Sapper? I, I can't tell on here. The, the the writing is very very. It's very faint. Yeah, a cultist. Cultist. Sorry. Thought it was some like that. So um, we have some little bits of flash on there. Easy to clip off. There's no like, mold lines I can see. Everything cast looks well. Uh, next up, should have one I've picked up. Uh, has he got a book in his hand? Yeah, he has. Uh, is that the supernatural investigator? Definitely looks like a supernatural investigator to me. Uh -huh. uh, that's the grenadier. Grenadier? Yeah. It's probably the officer. Yeah, officer. A few bits there that need to come off. Probably use the snips for those. Um, a few on the baseline. That's it. Uh, Next guy. That looks like the veteran hunter. Indeedy. He's got a few little bits as well. Nope, nothing massive though. That looks like the the sapper. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Or sapia, I don't know, maybe be sapper or sapia. Uh, that's the Vivian Derrière. Is it Derrière? I don't know, <laughs> Vivian Derrière. I was rubbish at French, seriously. <laughs> no, this is what makes it so funny. <laughs> and then finally, the most ostentatious of the guy that... Heavy cavalry man. I really like this model, actually. The pistol uh, and the... Uh, <laughs> Sword? Yeah. You're very fancy. <laughs> nice. So those are the models. As you, you see, they don't actually come with bases. Uh, they have a bag of bases from war bases you can. Um, so that's where these come from. There's a lot of general use on all the Napoleonic War of Independence models that I've, I've got. So. I just thought I'd still use them on these guys. I also used them on these little um, tombstones for the game as well, which I also got from Warbases UK, just as counters. Cool. Very nice. Yeah, I think that quite nice. There's a lot of counters, those things. And um, on the uh, cultists as well. <laughs> so let's move on to the Prussians. Yeah, we'll Let's get that out. So in here we should have these guys. There you go, Carl. 
Thank you. I'll get the wording right for these. Okay. No, the infamous bubble on that. Yeah, tension paper if you prefer. Oh, it should be red for tension paper. Right. Straight up, we have a fancy guy with a sword. Uh, that's a light cavalry man. Is it? No? Oh no, swordsman. Sorry. See, why did you swordsman. trust me with this? I, I don't know. I'm absolute rubbish with this. Go on. Dude with gun and big posh hat. Thank, thanks for that. Yeah, um, rifleman. <laughs> Fancy guy with long coat. Um, strategist. I like him, he's cool. Okay. Uh, what was that? Flat cap guy. A light cavalry man. He's the cavalry. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's the uh, officer. I like him yeah. actually. He's, he's very cool. cool. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the doctor. <laughs> this guy looks crazy. <laughs> I, like I have a torch, look at me. And we have Miss Lady. Uh, she's the occultist. Ooh. She's got glasses on. She has. <laughs> so the doctor. <laughs> and then we have the last one. Um he's the infantry man. Yeah. A lot of these actually have these little ball things on the end. Oh okay. Which having a look at the models and not there, these are just parts that have a flash. Oh, okay. Well, so they need to come off. Um, again, it's just a removable flash, flatten down the bases, and we'll stick them on the wooden bases I've got. So we'll back in a moment. So there we go, stuck to some bases, easy peasy. They look nice, I like these models, I like both, both sets to be honest. There are models I like in both sets. I'll, I actually really like this one. From the French. I think she's the the one that you we couldn't <laughs> figure out how you say it. Vivandia or Vivandia. Oh, like, I don't know. Yeah. Apologies. I like her. I actually like this this woman as well because she reminds me like some like swamp witch. I oh yeah, the, the, uh, the gothic. Uh, and then obviously there's the heavy cavalry and he looks pretty fancy. He does look cool. But I like all the models. Uh, the Prussians, particularly like the officer. Uh, the swordsman's actually pretty cool too. Yeah. And um, Doctor. I'd doctor, say. yeah. I'd say the doctor's pretty To be fair, yeah. he's, he's really character. He looks like he should be in some tomb. I think it's because he's got that torch. Yeah, the. He looks uh, like he, he should be in some tomb robbing it somewhere. Yeah. But they are, all the models are great. Um, and uh, we added them up for the, for the game. Yes. So the Prussians. Are coming in at 118. So that's for this. So they're coming in over the 100 points. Uh, so you either wouldn't be able to take them all, or you'd have to count some of them as different things, like lesser, like just infantrymen, or something like that. Right. And then the French. The French, we checked twice, and these came in at 132. Which is massively over. Yeah. It's because they've got so many like special characters in here. I mean, the veteran hunter comes in at 30 points on his own. And then we have a grenadier, who I'm not sure if he should be a grenadier or he should be a guard, to be honest. I'm not so up on the Napoleonic sort of like uniforms. Um, it it but does remind me of uh, Napoleon's um, old guard, cho chosen guard, yeah, yeah. guard. Yeah, he does. I don't know. I don't know whether there's something on him which says no, he's not, and he's just a grenadier. But I don't know. I suppose you could use him as either the. And just so you know, the, the old guard's actually the guard's more expensive than the actual grenadier as well, so that put the price up even further. Um, but there we go. So, I, I mean, you could just use him as a as an infantryman as well, mm -hmm. and 
that's probably what you'd have to do to sort of start fitting them into the cost of using them as different things until you could afford to buy them or just not taking them and having a smaller crew which is kind of what you have to do really uh, with these sets uh, unless they release some additional sets with just normal dudes in mm -hmm. just infantry and stuff but to be fair you can get Napoleonic infantry from anywhere uh, Perry Miniatures is one of the best mm -hmm. and these would fit in great with Perry Miniatures I've got some for the uh, the American War of Independence. You did, didn't you? Yeah. And and they fit in with the war stuff with that. So these would fit in really great with them as well. And these would also make great characters in Sharp's practice. Yeah. So you could have like the normal guys from whatever range you want, and these can make like the your little characters for units up. Uh, there's so much character to these models. They'd be mm. great for that too. So I can see me using them as all of the above. So. <laughs> He's going to be great. But um, there we go. So that's the, the next Silver Bayonet one. Hopefully I can get these painted soon. Uh, the Spanish and the British are both painted. And so is the scenery for a game. And I'm all set to go and actually uh, maybe record a battle solo. And maybe versus. Um, so we shall see. So stay tuned for that. And if you're interested, put it in the comments. And uh, please like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. But uh, bye for now. Bye for now.